Hey, everybody, welcome back to another amazing episode of Soul Chat, the conversation that is deeper than the surface. And I am your host, Ebony Titora. I am so excited. Every day I'm excited to bring to you new people, new topics, and additional ways to stay in alignment, right, with that mind-body-spirit connection. And today I have an amazing doctor in the hot seat today. And it's really exciting because she's not like your typical doctor. And first of all, she has energy for all of us youngins. <laughs> she puts us to shame, okay? And that is proof that what she teaches and what she knows is actually something that works because you can tell that if we age gracefully and we still look amazing and we still have vitality and energy, that means we are doing something right. <laughs> so introducing you to Dr. Joe D. Bear, America's top foundational health coach and holistic nutritionist, focusing on foundations of health, foundations of living, and foundations of hope as an alternative, and that's an acronym, as an alternative healing pioneer of 42 years, creating energy, vitality, and longevity. Dr. Jody has empowered clients to lose an excess, listen to this number, of 1 million plus pounds of toxic fat, over 3,000 clients to reclaim their health during this COVID era. Dr. Jody is a two-time international bestseller alongside the amazing Les Brown, one of our favorites. Her unique, simple, effective and sustainable solutions are achieved through pristine, clean daily systems. Programmatic detoxing and cleansing for health isn't something you do, it's what you become along life's journey. I love that. <laughs> Welcome, Jody. Thank you so much for saying yes to the podcast. I know you have so many things in your storehouse that are um, coming up along the way, but I definitely want to welcome you to the Soul Chat family, and thank you for giving us this opportunity to ask you some amazing questions, especially when it comes to that body part, but I know you're holistic, so you're merging all of these things together, and just so you guys know, she prayed us into the podcast, so you know she is part of this tribe. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Jody. Thank you so much for being here. So tell us, what is your story? That's always the question I ask everyone. Uh, what is your story? Because I know we all have stories and then that transformed into you being here today. <laughs> well, and thank you, Ebony. And yes, I feel that we are so in alignment. And, and you talk about in alignment. You talk about a woman who is giving birth any day now and she just shows up. <laughs> that's, that's what you show up and you know that someone is in totally in alignment. And I just, I just thank you for this opportunity. And yes, I was this girl from small town, Montana, you know, Montana is a big state, small population, this brown eyed, brown haired ponytail girl still have the ponytail, but <laughs> I found out that I could sing Ebony. I could sing, I could sing, I could sing and sing. I did with my gift. You see my mother was a widow at 36. And at 38, my soulful singing brought her out of her depression. And she gave me hope because she put in money, money that she could ill afford being a single parent of two young girls. She put money into my singing lessons. So I became a classically trained vocal musician. Now, singing with the New York City Opera, singing this way, singing on my way to the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra, singing the leading role to the Handel's Messiah. Ebony, audience, have you ever had anything that hit you out of the blue? Well, I was broadsided, broadsided by the Lincoln Continental, and I was paralyzed from the shoulders on down. Wow. And that is when my mother gave me hope. Here, face down in a surgical halo, she looked up at me and said, Jody, the doctors only see what they see. They don't know who you are. So I ask your audience, who are you in those times of trial? Who are you? And I knew enough about health that I reached in and I did what I know. And I want to share with your audience that inflammation is the number one cause of all disease. And I allowed my body as I'm sitting there for six months, actually lying there for six months, read my Bible to cover to cover. What else was I going to do? <laughs> and, and frankly, I walked out of that hospital room I got up out of that bed and I walked through those doors and I've been running ever since wow. and what I found to give others hope 
I decided along the way to get my certification. I had my first unborn baby inside of me and I'm going, everything I see around me is additives and preservatives. I decided to do something about it. Had my first healthy son, I'd get a phone call. Again, Ebony, out of the blue. Ring, ring, ring. Pick up the phone. This is when we had landlines. I know you don't remember that, Ebony. But, but I do, actually. Uh, so we had a landline. <laughs> and I'm cleaning you know, the kitchen. And I said, hey, mom, how are you? And she said, Jody, in her Norwegian accent, I have bad news. Mom, what is it? The doctors told me I have cancer. Mm. I have six weeks to live. And I rolled that toilet paper off that roll, slumping to my knees until there was no more roll. And I was determined to find something holistically to help her. And this is what I'm doing for four decades later, because I was back in that little Laurel, Montana library, Ebony. And guess what I found? I found Centuries Old Protocols by Edgar Cayce. And I saw that book, blew the dust off it, ran to the library. And when we got to week seven with my mother, we celebrated. She had nearly three years length of life, way beyond her, her diagnosis again. As Les Brown says, your diagnosis is not your prognosis. And she said to me, and this is my mission statement, and I'll conclude with my story. That at 68 and seven, eight years, it's probably a little longer than most. But at any rate, what I can say is this. She looked at me as she was transitioning from this world into the next. And she said, Jody, give others hope the way you've given it to me. Aww. And that's what I do. Not holistically. Yes. Because it has to be not only body, mind, and soul. It's got to be not only holistically, but it has to be that spiritual life of your six pillars, not half holistic, so that I can give you this herb, if you can see this herb, or whatever herb I have on my desk, and say, oh, well, it's just going to be a natural way to fix the symptoms. Let's go get down and be pristine clean. Thanks for asking me, Ebony. Oh my goodness, such a beautiful story. And you know what? That is just the telltale of adversity. Like I always share with people, it doesn't matter how much money you have or don't have. We all have the same adversities. It just doesn't matter. So we all have stories. You know, we all look at people and we just assume that we know their story. And can you imagine, you know, anyone listening here being paralyzed? And how you're going to navigate through that. And truly, Jody, I've had a lot of people that I've recently come across that are uh, physically suffering with some sort of dis-ease in their bodies. Mm -hmm. And for them, I'm sure you can attest to this. That's like a testament of mind, right? Mm -hmm. Like really getting into the mind. Because when you feel pain and like you're like, I was paralyzed. I mean, it's a physical condition that you, you know, it, you had to think your way out of. Do you agree with that? Oh, because what you're going through, as Les Brown says, you will get through. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this was a story, Ebony, that I had never told. My sons didn't even know the degree of how sick their mother was before they came into this world. And this is this book that I wrote with Les Brown, Ignite the Hunger in You. And um, the first of my, my two international bestsellers. But the most important thing with this is you can will your body to do yeah. this. But... Where there's a will, there's a way. However, if we don't take care of our, our body, mind, and spirit to take that time, as I talk, and you've heard me say on Clubhouse, 10 rituals to rock your day. If you don't take the time to do those simple, easy, and effective things, you can have all the will you want, but the body will give up. I know that. I see this with people that are seniors my age. You see, because energy creates vitality. And then you have longevity. You must keep the energy alive because we only have so much energy between the dashes. What will you do with it? Yeah, absolutely. I would love to hear about your 10 rituals to rock your day. <laughs> Share them with us because we're all about it. These are episodes that are going to be beginning of the year uh, as we're going into 2023. And I know that people need power. They need these simple steps effective steps and obviously you are a I mean let's not call you a guru because you're better than that you are a practitioner of what you speak because you look like it <laughs> and I'm telling you she puts all of our energy levels 
to shame. Okay. <laughs> well, we were we were at a conference with XP mentor Evan, and I'm going, okay, we're on the left side of the room. We're on the we're we're on we're on the the bride side of the room because she's a bride having this fifth baby. <laughs> she's got all the vital energy that she needs about her unborn child. I've got all this energy behind you. I just watched you saunter and you were watching me. It was just, it was a great alignment because yes. that frequency level people know. And so getting into the 10 rituals to rock your day, if any of you in the audience want it, you can got to go to Dr. Jodi, it's J-O-D-E-E-D-R-J-O-D-E-E.com. Go to my blogs, it's 10 rituals to rock your day. It's, it's just 10 rituals, you can do this. It's 10 a.m. right now. I got up at seven, took me an hour, did my walk, got ready. That's how easy it is. For is. I'm going to give you two. When you get up in the morning, frankly, being paralyzed for six months, I know this one. When I put my feet on the ground, I am grateful. And the, the simple physical thing to do, if you go up and do a sun salutation and come down, you have given all of your chakras that vital energy. And I do that three times, number of perfection. Then I go into the bathroom after I've had my lemon water, lemon with water sitting on the side of your bed because you think an acidic thing like lemon yes it will make your body alkaline you get up in the morning you're dehydrated because you're going like, oh. you'll be slurring all night open with your mouth you're dehydrating okay so you go ahead take the lemon water you've got about four ounces and just about a thumb's worth of lemon i go into my bathroom i do a thing with a tongue it looks like a tongue depressor take out the coating off of your, your, your tongue. So important, easy to do, easy not to do. Why do I do that? Because as you sleep, all that digestive, the, the toxins come from your digestive as you're going, I know the snoring, right? At <laughs> night in bed. And so you take that off your tongue. Then I do a thing called oil pulling. And it's just a simple couple of drops of oil on my tongue because I love frankincense and it was good enough for our savior. It's good enough for me. And then you can read about the rest. I will take you through any of Ebony's wonderful, wonderful viewers. You go ahead, you can reach out to me at 800-820-0854. I'll give you the first 20 minutes free of my time. You can book an appointment. I will tell you about this Qigong walk that will change your life and Ebony, I'm taking you through little mama. Once you have that, that fifth baby, I'm taking you that with me, you and I together. Okay? That's exciting. I love everything you just shared. I just was sitting here like, yes, that all makes so much sense. So I will I include that into the show notes, everyone. So you can quickly access that uh, blog. She also has many other blogs, uh, Miracle Green Drink. So I know a lot of people have said to me, they want to get their fitness goals in tune. And what it sounds like you're doing is you're creating small, simple habits that are effective, that help us feel that vitality. And I know that when we do anything and the body starts to see or the mind starts to see like the increase in whatever it is, energy, um, focus, clarity, I can see it opening our minds in so many different ways. You want to keep doing it and yes. you want to keep doing it. So definitely we're going to be putting that in the show notes. And you said so much. And when it comes to... Um, you know, our vitality and living a long life. You have this acronym. Can you break down that HOPE acronym for us? I would love to, would love to. <laughs> HOPE stands for heal. Go down into yourself. No one can do you like you. Husbands and wives may leave you and children at some point better. So go down and heal yourself. You are you best you go up in opportunity to your true north, whatever your creator of all you believe, and then come in and positivity is the P just not do, but be the law of attraction. You can be that difference in the world. And then you go out. E is empowerment because you've changed yourself. You've changed another, and then you can change the world. I love that so much. And did you get that from some of the, like the words that your mom had said to you as far as hope and then building yes. out that acronym? I love that so much. It's been with me a few, it's been with me a few decades. Yes. That's some homage right there. I love that. I love that. And just 
many blessings to your mom because she sounds like she was a strong, amazing woman, especially what she said to you in the hospital, um, looking at you and telling you they don't know who you are. Because yes. <laughs> I'm sure like, you know, there's nothing like a mom. I say, listen, shout out to all the dads. I love the men to the fullest. Like, I love y'all. Um, but, you know, the mother, you know, I was saying this to someone else, it doesn't matter how old someone gets, like that first thought is like, I want my mommy. <laughs> so for her to see that life into you is just, it's like a mom saying something like that to you. I was like visioning it as you were saying it, like I could just imagine it just boosted your soul to this infinite level of like, you're right, mom, they don't know who I am. And you're a testimony because of it, I feel like, you know. And 44 years later, when you said that, Ebony, I got goosebumps all through my body. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, still that gift with me today. It is. Oh my gosh, you are the gift for us. So I know you have so many amazing things happening. <laughs> we have another, you're already a best-selling author. So you're going to be a best-selling author with this edition as well. Tell us about the new book. We've talked so much about just, this has been inspirational. And I hope you guys are seeing that it is simple to take care of yourself. Everything you said wasn't like, it was like the simplest thing of like, oh, do this and do that. <laughs> and it's like, I'm optimizing my health health just by drinking lemon water yes and when you think about it we wake up we're drinking coffee but you know about some really amazing coffee that's healing as well so jody's got all the goods you all again her website is drjodee.com um definitely make sure you guys check that out we'll keep it in the show notes as well for you to easily get there but you should be going there now as you're listening so tell us about the new book and what it's going to entail and i know you're super excited about it well, and Ebony, I, I want you to know, I retired. I retired in 2020, sold my wow. practice, and, and then COVID hit. And my husband looked at me, and he kept going over and over and over. He said, like your husband, he's such my biggest cheerleader. <laughs> and, he, and he said, no one does healing like you do. I don't know anybody else. Like, um, mm -hmm. Because you're pregnant, something that I don't often say, people come to me. When they say, oh, my name is Jody, can you help me? I'm oftentimes the last resort, Dr. Jody. And I was the last resort for over 800 parents that thought they couldn't conceive. Notice I said they were parents. <laughs> those, because it's all foundational. It's all yeah. in the foundations of who you are. Yeah. Well, a little bit of a backstory. I'm sitting here um, going ahead and he said, you need to get back in the game. I said, I, I went through, I don't have a website. I'm not IT. I didn't do Zooms. I, 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 he goes, I read the book too. There aren't 58 <laughs> alibis. So when you get to 57, let me know. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> and he said, and then he looked at me and he said, just how much yoga are you going to be doing? <laughs> per day. I mean, he I had me. him already. <laughs> right. And so this thing called Clubhouse came on. You know that my coach and longtime mentor of almost um, a, a decade, Jay Nolan, got on yeah. how we got we got connected on XP Mentor. He gets yeah. on the phone. He goes, Jody, you got to get on this Clubhouse. I said, what is it? An app? I don't do apps. He goes, you're going to do this one. So I just say <laughs> yes to it, okay? I said yes to him. I get on. This woman hears me speak. I didn't even know what it was. All of a sudden, there's a three-day women's event. And guess who spoke? before me or after me, excuse me. I spoke before him, Les Brown. Wow. And he said, whoever this woman was, who is that speaker? I'm like, I put my unmute, but I said, it was me. And he said, I want to give you two months free coaching. Come be in my circle. We're writing a book, Ignite the Hunger in You. That's how this came about. I've never yeah. written. I've never done any of this. I, you know, I had a brick and mortar practice. I, here I am online. That's what retired has changed my word to refired. And <laughs> during COVID, I had had my all but dissertation. I have the initials behind my name, ABD, all but dissertation. I've never completed it. I need to do this. During COVID, I had a corporate practice. They went ahead and I sold my corporate practice, got royalties for 20 years. Guess what? 2020, the royalties were up. I got my content back took my content of what I took all over North America, turned it into my dissertation, 
and now once I became a full-fledged doctor to defend my dissertation on holistic nutrition in all six pillars, phys spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, social, and financial. Mm. My husband looked again, got to give the big bear some credit here. He <laughs> said, so is that dissertation just going to be a very thick placemat on our dining room table? I said, what do you mean? So, well, I turned my dissertation from Oxford into a New York Times bestseller. I said, well, I just want another bestseller. So here we go. The last, the, the, the current iteration of 21 days to your best you keys for a life of excellence, which is truly a step-by-step, -step, just like I said with Hope Ebony, it's you take you and yourself for, first. I say it's you incorporated. It's you, it's you. Then we go in our relationship with each other and then we take it out to our social circle. So it's seven days, 14, then seven days more, 21. And that's what we, uh, we have. And it's, it's coming out on the 25th of February. Amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about that. And I love your husband. You need people behind you who really hold you accountable to your goals and those next steps. So shout out to you. Call him the big bear. <laughs> we love his love for you. And I am super excited about everything you're doing with that because it sounds like additional um you know when i think of holistic holistic to me is the i mean i mean essentially to break it down in two ways it's like the whole way we live our lives right and then also knowing that we were giving given everything on this planet to be healthy to be successful and i love hearing about your six pillars so it sounds like this is a book we all need absolutely in our lives you all can actually pre-order it <laughs> which you should be doing right now <laughs> before she reaches her cap because she said february 25th so pre-order that book again the website is drjodee.com you can pre-order your book it's right on her landing page right when you get there pre-order the book get one for a friend it makes me think of the people around me and it makes me think even of my mom because for most of my life she has had some dis-ease that is constant and in her world i mean she's pretty much like a guinea pig to most of these doctors because she has a medicine for a medicine and a medicine for that medicine um, and I've helped her a little bit, but I feel like this, some of your resources and things that you are sharing, I need to help to get her because she's open and suggestible to these things. And we want to give people the opportunity to not only live a long life, because I watched my grandmother live a long life and she couldn't walk and she was like, her body was breaking down and she went out in a nursing home. So to be able to have us all, we all, that's the greatest desire is to live a long life have the most energy to do it and not buy into this theory that because we get old, we have to become this decrepit, you know, uh, breaking down body when you prove that that's not, that's not the case. So I just thank you for the work that you do. I thank you for being, you're just a vessel. You're not just a doctor or someone that has a bunch of information you share openly, but you also have a huge heart. You just have the biggest heart and the things that you say and the things that you talk about show that you really, really want to help people. It's not just about the money. It's not just about <laughs> filling your pockets up, which you could easily do with the DR there, right? I'm sure you know, but you're actually showing up for people in such a heart-centered way. And it's interesting that you said, I'm usually people's last option. It's because you're non-traditional, but you are traditional when it comes to like, you're, you're in tune with mother earth and the chakras and energy and vitamins and minerals and um essential oils and things that are already god made that are sent here to help us heal so i thank you jody <laughs> for all think, you are. Think about what uh, what what the good book says you gave me an entry here he made all things for good now mm -hmm. i personally have a philosophy if it comes from a mother it goes in the mouth of another Okay, I'm just, <laughs> I've been there for every, but that's just me. It just me. I have, I have, you like that, didn't you? I love that. <laughs> so, so I, why not make it fun? Why, why does health have to be boring? And oh, we're sitting in this, you know, this chair. Let's, let's make it fun. Let's make it doable. Let's laugh. Humor yeah. is so good. But here's an example. You mentioned my green miracle drink. Um, this came out um, of. A situation where I had another pretty, pretty uh, could have been life-ending car accident about 15 years ago. 
and I just had to get my short-term memory back. Guess it worked. Alkalinity, disease is acidic. If you are acidic, one of the things on the 10 rituals, pee on the stick. Now, if I'm gonna be talking there, I'm gonna jump up, pee and poop. It's just a vital a thing that we do several times a day. And uh, actually we should eliminate at least twice. People go, oh, I've gone today. Oh, no, no, no. Did you eat three times? Did you eat two times? Eliminating after, if that's when you know that energy release works. So back to the green miracle drink that I came up with my naturopath that was helping me revitalize myself. And every single element in there, and it's really easy to make. You juice some, you make some, put it in a mason jar. I'm gonna have it for lunch again, four days worth and you're done. It is your lunch. I would, would almost guarantee you when you follow the simple and easy principles, not only of this, with the green miracle drink, make it, it tastes wonderful. If you need a little, mm, I'm not so sure about cilantro, just put another banana in it. It's, it's a great combination. It will bring your body back to the alkalinity, which is where vitality is. And then I want to segue into what is pristine clean. See, I believe in cleansing. You've got a choice. As one of my, my quotes is detox or tumors, your body makes a choice. Mm. It just does. And choose wisely. And, and you think, well, but I don't know about juicing. Okay, here's another one. No food tastes as good as health feels. So when you drink your nutrition once a day in juicing, I can't eat six carrots. I can't eat a whole thing of celery, uh, one banana, six oranges, uh, a, you know, a pound of spinach. Come on, nobody's going to yeah. do that. You can juice that much nutrients into your body. And then when you do a parasite cleanse, there has been so much talk about this lately. And I think, you know, I hung around and became refired over COVID because people are talking about the things that I learned back in 1982. I know you don't remember that, 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 <laughs> that year when I was studying with Holda Clark and I was wow. back in Atlanta and she was yeah. this 96 year old woman that would come out with her little cane. And she says, I'm going to help you. I'm going to teach the next generation. That's what I'm doing now. I've got a program that if you're, you're called to become some kind of a health coach, you, in this kind of work, this holistic work, that it's CEU qualified as well, not just a certification you can get from any online store, but back to the parasite cleanse. If you have air, ladies and gentlemen, if you breathe air and we have air, because we breathe air, we're alive. You have parasites. Oh, by the way, the biggest one. Oh, well, I eat clean, so I don't have parasites. Oh, really? Actually, the person who eats Franken food and that McDonald's every single day has fewer parasites because they're getting formaldehyde in their system. People that eat clean, obviously eat organic because there's no pesticides on there, actually have more. Now, don't be afraid, don't stew. It's easy. I'm gonna take people through this five day uh, foundational health challenge. We're going to do a master cleanse together and you're going to get information, news you can use about how to do a parasite cleanse, because if you don't do it in the proper order, now I know you're prego and you're not wearing Spanx right now, Ebony, but you know that Spanx, you pull up that girdle, one yeah. size fits most. Yeah. Well, it's not true because this is very precise. Somebody that weighs 300 pounds will do it differently than a woman who weighs hundred pounds. Wow. And, and, it, and depending on your experience as you're doing it the first time will, indicate to me just how you need to do it and what the dosage is very important wow that's amazing when is this program <laughs> what's that you said this is the program is this something that someone is it starting soon or is it an evergreen thing that oh, someone well it is about? going to be starting soon it's january 4th you can awesome. go give dash me dot five dot eventbrite dot com if it's once it we're done with these five days it will be evergreen you can have access to it at any time because any day is a great day to start your foundational health. And it's what we're going to be going through is give me five goals and intentions. Give me five fitnesses. I want to come back to that in a minute. Get five vitamins, the bare five, five energies and five habits. Now, the one thing about fitness, I've got to say, well, I'm, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to get fit. Do you know? That is the biggest misnomer. It says diet and exercise, doesn't it, Ebony? Yeah. Diet 
But if you don't do the right diet, there's also a word in there that says die. <laughs> and fitness is something that if you don't do this properly, if you don't do it, uh, uh, the five sequential ways that I teach all the time, I don't do everything every day. I don't do yoga every day. I don't do weights every day. I do my Qigong walk every day. But there's a reason and methodology behind this. What happens, it actually toxifies your liver and it makes you alkaline, no, acidic, yes. Too much exercise will make you get that weight loss plateau. I see it all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. A million plus pounds of toxic fat. Only a 5% recidivism rate because mm -hmm. we start with the pristine clean. We start with the parasites. We work on up and then you go ahead and do the thing that works the best. And that is going ahead and doing a variation of fitness. So your liver quivers. Mm, that makes sense. That makes sense. And it's simple. I think that's why most people actually give up. It's like the monotony of doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, it's, um, I mean, I've never been taught anything, but to me, that just feels more natural to me to be able to do different things and move all parts of the body. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm definitely going to check that out. We'll definitely put that in the show notes as well. And I want to see you guys there as well and invite your family because we have so many people that would have longer lives if they actually poured into their health, you know. Oh, so and, it, and, and guess what the price is? It's $27. $27. Oh, my goodness. If you're not there, let me not talk about you badly audience but if you're not there <laughs> you know we have to make different decisions and it sounds like not it sounds like it sounds and it feels like that this is going to I know that parasites it, it affects the way our brains and like all these other things you talked about inflammation so I was literally just sharing that with my mom because she's she's always trying to switch her diet and I told her most of I mean she does eat most, mostly processed so I guess she's on the less parasitic but you know changing her I've learned that that's what controls cravings as well the yes. cravings that we have. Um, so it's challenging for her to like divert her cravings. So I'm going to send it to her too. I'm going to pay for her to be there actually, um, because I desire for everyone around me to have their, live their best life. And you talk about what I talk about, which is essentially from the inside out. And I love that you pair the mind, body, spirit. You don't leave out the spirit part because <laughs> I say that that's the most challenging part for people. And it's the easiest thing because it's who we are. So essentially, if you're, if you're able to tap into all three, that's vitality to me is that balance. And I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, hopefully I have the baby by then. <laughs> and, well, even and we'll I give you the evergreen. <laughs> we'll give you the evergreen. And Ebony, you know why I came up with $27? Why add that? the numbers together. Two and seven is nine. Mm -hmm. And you make a perfect 10 when you do it. <laughs> I love that. You have such a sense of humor. I love to laugh. It's one of my favorite things ever. It's healing. And, I, and it essentially, it just brings so much fun to what we get to do in this world and not take it so seriously. Like you said, sometimes when we're having these discussions around healing or health, it gets really just like, ugh, everyone's like the elephant in the room, the things we don't want to talk about. But this has been so much fun. <laughs> oh. I enjoy it. Jody. <laughs> oh, fun, fun, fun. And, 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 the, and the thing we all, we all have adversity. We all have. So when we, when we can push, but I, I just want, and I know you believe this as well. A, another one of the 10 rituals in there is meditation. And, yes. and it has to be what meditation is. If you fall asleep, if you fall asleep on the chair, I mean, fine, your body needed a rest. Yes. Everything we learned for life we learned in kindergarten we took our little blankie and we went and we took a nap all right yeah, we did. that 10 minutes of meditation will be as much as two hours worth of sleep to revitalize your body daily and and that is in the 10 rituals as well and i've got to give a big shout out to to jay nolan and his company vibra 360 you can go to vproducts.store it's even safe this is dr jody approved it is even safe for pregnant women, okay? Ganoderma, the six mushroom gland, I advised him to put the six mushroom in that time. And you can go from meditation to confidence tones. It's, everything's on my website, but you can get that 
revitalizing, re restorative, engaging into your and have your breakthrough of, of your mind, body, spirit, and then elevate. I think every one of my monthly clients that, that are monthly, at least for six months, weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching clients do do that as well. It's that important. And, and, and it just, I mean, it, it just is. And I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you just so serene. You're like, you're like the Madonna. You're sitting here with your off the shoulder, you know, and, and nine and, you know, 40 weeks pre pregnant, I'm sexy. And, and it's because you exude what you teach, Ebony. It is so true. It's not what happens to you. It's how you respond. When I said, well, have you checked in? Do you, do you have any news about the dog? Oh, the baby will come when it's going to come. You need to reach out and be with this absolute amazing miracle working woman and, and be in her presence because you are doing the next generation with work. I, I must have named the, the, the new masterclass five days after. Give me five. Isn't this baby number five? Yeah. <laughs> you did. You said I'd fit perfect in there. <laughs> <laughs> Give me five. Oh my goodness, Jody! It's been such an amazing, amazing time with you. I'm sure we'll have you back on in some way, some capacity, because this information is. We could talk about some more things. I'm sure, especially as we hold each other all accountable to actually healing from the inside out. And it's not just about the soul stuff. Ebony talks about all the time. It's about the the body, the mind, and where you come in, Jody, is you're giving us a foundation of true health which is well, which I will be joining you today, by the way. So definitely make sure you guys are following Dr. Jody. Where can we follow you, um, follow up with you? I know we've given your website. Where are you most active? I know you're on Clubhouse, just offering such amazing um, intakes and outtakes about many things. So where can we find you? Well, before I do that, I've got to say, it's. It, it, did you notice I itched my nose? You know, you know what that is a sign of? That we're total alignment. When my nose starts itching, it's it, it your wisdom was there ebony it happens every single time so i'm active everywhere i do have a a twice a week tv show on traverse tv it's traverse tv.com it's also on orlando i live in florida it is is a cbs affiliate orlando channel 55 and monday i do mindset monday taking a little break here to get the final edits of the book Mindset Monday is at noon Eastern time. And then Monday we go into Thursday and that's life's milkshake moment at 6 p.m. Eastern. After you have the baby, you will most definitely come back on Mindset Monday because we are going to collaborate. We're going to do this mastermind on the 21 days together. I'm bringing in healers like you to do once the book is launched to do a mastermind to really teach us how to master our mind because you're right tap into that soulfulness. And when you have tapped in to your soul, then you know to take care of not only big Jody, but little Jody, because that's the child in all of us that's eternal. Yeah. Then, then you will have that physical vitality. I got off on a tangent, so unlike me, but at any rate, <laughs> I love Thursdays, it. Thursdays, Thursdays TV show is called Life's Milkshake Moment. But Jody, that's an interesting name. Don't milkshakes have a lot of calories? I wanted something gooey and delicious for people to think about. Mm -hmm. Life is like a milkshake. Choose your ingredients wisely. And when you do, life will be oh, so sweet. Yes. My Facebook page is Jody Nylander Dash Bear. It's the only one in Howie in the Hills. And <laughs> my social media handles are both at Dr. Jody and at Health Coach Jody, you can find me on Instagram. I put content out every single day. And I, you know, check out my YouTube channel. It's really um, a very interesting name. I've just started publicizing. I think I have like 400 people. So maybe you're 401. It's just at Dr. Jody. I thought I would do something real creative, not, but I'm just there and I'm here to serve and and my office number is 800-820-0854. And that's 800-820-0854 because I really do. Like you're a vessel to give birth very, very soon. I'm so mm -hmm. glad the baby waited. I said, just keep that baby in your belly one more day so we can do this show. <laughs> I'm so grateful that, that 
that there was compliance there. Now you're free to, because it was all about me. Actually, it was all about us. So it's all about you. <laughs> That's what it's all about. But you go ahead and do the things that mean the most as a woman, because we are vessels. We yeah. give, we're the hub of the wheel. We give birth, we give life, we give healing, we give hope. Yes. And the one last thing I wanted to share is, is about taking care of you and yourself because it's not a narcissistic way. And I have that in my second book that was Ignite Wisdom. My quote is, you take care of you, okay? You take care of you and your emotions first. And then a world around you is empowered forever. Take care of you in this birthing moment that you're having up. Take care of you in this crisis and, and have that soulful belief that Ebony talks about. It is you getting through the, the, the loveliness that this journey that, that is life. And then you will be empowered forever. And how do you do that? You listen to the whispers of your own wisdom. For in those whispers, that stall, still voice that you're going to hear you start doing the 10 rituals, when you start going and minding body, mind, and spirit, in those whispers, there's life. And in life, Ebony, there is hope. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That was beautiful. We're going to go ahead and end it there. <laughs> in conclusion, I didn't even have to ask you any last words. Thank you so much for your beauty, your wisdom, your grace, your humor, because <laughs> laughter truly heals on so many levels and releases some great chemicals in the body. So with that being said, everyone, thank you so much for tuning into Soul Chat. We love that you are part of the Soul Chat family. Shout out to New York, California, Texas, Georgia, all the people that I see listening to the podcast. I love and appreciate you. Thank you for sharing this out via text. I see you guys are active in the texting game. So keep texting it to your friends. You just never know who needs it, especially this episode. So many people need healing and they need resources to get there holistically without having to jump through hoops or egos or misinformation. <laughs> so definitely tap into the amazing Joe D. Bear. Thank you so much for being on the podcast and everyone have a blessed and amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. We thank you for tuning in.